you guys. So we've got double press. This is single arm double press. Um, so we're going to go over kind of different variations depending on what um, implement you guys have um, and how heavy your dumbbell is. So if you guys have um, a pretty like manageable weight, then we're just going to do the regular double press. You do the burpee, come up, pull it over your head. Um, if we don't, so say our weight is really heavy and we can't do the double press part or the press part, uh, one of the scaling options is going to be do a burpee on your dumbbell or kettlebell, jump up, and then instead of doing a snatch, you're going to do a power clean. So that'll be one option. Again, it would be a burpee, come up. You could bring it through your legs and kind of do a swing to a, a power clean, or you guys can just go straight from the floor into a power clean position. So if you do it that way, it's going to be the same uh, way as a, as a normal double press, it'd be uh, alternating reps every time. Say we've got a kettlebell. So the kettlebell can be a little tricky here. So when you go down to do the burpee, you can either just do the burpee and not worry about putting your hand on the kettlebell, or you guys can put your hand under the bell, do your burpee, come up, and then grab the bell and go into a power snatch. Same thing if it's too heavy, you guys can just go into a power clean. The other option is say it's just way too heavy for any of that, then you've got six burpees. Don't worry about the weight, so just do six burpees. When you're done with your six burpees, you can stand up with your kettlebell or dumbbell, and you'll do six swings. If you've got a dumbbell and it's too awkward to go overhead, just go to island. 